The story of Ugandan coffee is a tale of two beans, each with its own unique history and significance. Contrary to popular belief, not all coffee in Uganda was a colonial import. Robusta coffee, which has long been a part of the country's culture and agriculture, is indigenous to Uganda. It grew wild in the forests around Lake Victoria and was used by local communities long before it became a commercial crop. These communities traditionally used Robusta for its stimulant properties and in various cultural ceremonies, showcasing its deep-rooted significance in Ugandan society. The narrative of coffee in Uganda took a significant turn with the arrival of the British and the establishment of Uganda as a British protectorate in 1894. During this colonial period, the British, recognising the potential of coffee as a cash crop, introduced Arabica coffee to Uganda around the beginning of the 1900s. These Arabica seeds, brought from the Ethiopian highlands and Malawi, were foreign to Ugandan soil, but would soon take root in the country's higher altitudes. This dual heritage of Robusta and Arabica has shaped Uganda's coffee industry in profound ways. The indigenous Robusta, hardy and disease-resistant, found its home in the lower-lying areas around the Lake Victoria Basin. Its beans, known for their strong flavour and higher caffeine content, have been a mainstay of Uganda's coffee exports. Meanwhile, the introduced Arabica, with its more delicate flavour profile, flourished in the higher altitudes of the Mount Elgon and Ruenzori Mountains. Today, Uganda's coffee production is expected to reach 6.9 million bags in the 2024-2025 season, a testament to the industry's growth and resilience. While Robusta still accounts for a significant portion of the country's coffee production, the balance is shifting. Recent reports indicate that Robusta is projected to account for approximately 63% of the production increase, with Arabica making up a growing share. Coffee's importance to Uganda's economy cannot be overstated. It accounts for approximately 20 to 30% of the country's foreign exchange earnings and contributes about 5% to the GDP. In the financial year 2023 to 2024, coffee exports reached a record-breaking $1.14 billion, demonstrating the industry's vital role as an economic engine. The revenue generated from coffee exports supports infrastructure development, education, and healthcare initiatives. The industry provides income for an estimated 1.7 million households, serving as a lifeline for rural communities. The journey from bean to cup in Uganda involves various processing methods, each contributing to the final flavour profile of the coffee. The two main methods are wet, washed and dry, natural processing. Dry processing, more common with Robusta, involves drying the whole coffee cherry. This method is cost-effective but can lead to inconsistent quality. Wet processing, often used for higher quality Arabica, involves removing the pulp before drying, resulting in a cleaner taste. Some farmers are also experimenting with honey processing, a method between wet and dry, which can produce unique flavour notes. Innovation is flourishing in Uganda's coffee sector. A growing number of entrepreneurs are challenging the status quo by setting up local roasteries and creating Ugandan coffee brands. These initiatives aim to keep more of the value chain within the country potentially increasing returns for farmers and boosting the national economy. On the technological front, some cooperatives are adopting blockchain technology to improve traceability and transparency in the supply chain, potentially leading to better prices for quality beans. However, these coffee revolutionaries face an uphill battle. Established trade routes, consumer preferences in major markets, and a lack of local expertise in large-scale roasting and packaging are just a few of the hurdles they must overcome. The need for improved branding and quality perception of Ugandan coffee on the global stage is paramount. Fortunately, the Uganda Coffee Development Authority, UCDA, has been successful in improving coffee quality, resulting in higher prices and increased demand globally. This has also contributed to the expansion of Ugandan coffee exports, particularly to new markets like Turkey, where exports have seen a remarkable 2,200% increase from 2019 to 2024. An often overlooked aspect of Uganda's coffee industry is the role of women. They play a crucial part in coffee production, often handling the bulk of fieldwork, harvesting and initial processing. However, they face significant challenges, including limited land ownership rights and restricted decision-making power. Addressing these gender inequalities could unlock further potential in the industry, improving both productivity and quality. While much of the focus has been on export markets, 
there's growing recognition of the potential in Uganda's domestic coffee market. Currently, local consumption is low, with Ugandans drinking an average of 0.3 kilograms of coffee per capita annually, compared to 5.5 kilograms in neighbouring Kenya. However, domestic consumption is on the rise, driven by an increasing coffee culture in urban areas. Increasing local consumption could provide a more stable demand base for farmers and potentially drive improvements in quality and processing. The global coffee industry is notoriously volatile, with prices subject to sharp fluctuations based on factors often beyond the control of individual farmers. This volatility can have devastating effects on smallholder farmers who rely on coffee for their livelihoods. Efforts to stabilise prices and provide better support systems for farmers are crucial for the long-term sustainability of the industry. Education and training play a vital role, improving farmers' knowledge of best practices in cultivation, harvesting and post-harvest handling can significantly impact coffee quality and yield. Training in business skills can help farmers better navigate the complexities of the global coffee market. Some initiatives are using mobile technology to disseminate market information and agricultural advice directly to farmers helping them make more informed decisions. As we drink our morning coffee, it's worth reflecting on the journey that brought it to our cup. From the smallholder farms in the shadow of the Rowenzori Mountains to the bustling ports of Mombasa, Ugandan coffee carries with it the stories of farmers, traders and entrepreneurs. It embodies the challenges of a globalised commodity market and the potential for a more equitable, sustainable future. The story of Ugandan coffee is far from over. With each harvest, with each roasted bean, with each new initiative to add value or improve sustainability, the narrative evolves. It's a story of a nation working to harness its natural resources and human potential, to write its own future in the global coffee industry. As consumers, investors and global citizens, we all have a role to play in shaping that future, ensuring that it's as rich and full-bodied as the coffee itself.